I was going to go with the Schrodinger Heisenberg uh, joke, but well, we'll have to keep it for next time. Um, so my name is Jean-Claude Senklusen. I am the director of the TCGA program office at NCI. And uh, me and Caroline, we get to have the pleasure once a year to tell you what, we, what you all have been doing and what we have been achieving. Um, and so, let's see, we have the timeline of TCGA is something that you all probably are familiar, but there may be some new faces in the, in the room. Uh, we started as a pilot project in 2005, uh, 2006, um, with GBM and ovarian carcinoma, 500 cases each. It was funny. Last week, somebody asked me, what was the power calculation that you did in order to get to 500? And the answer was, None whatsoever. Uh, we didn't know what was the rate of discovery. We didn't know what was the rate of mutations. We didn't know anything about this. So we just said, how many do we have money for? And how many do we think that we can get? And the num magic number was 500. Uh, obviously, since then, now we have actual power calculations. You all know the Lawrence paper. And uh, it will be more on that later on. Um, in 2010, we expanded to 25 uh, regular tumors, non-rare tumors, plus 10 rare tumor types. We ended up doing nine of those tumor types. Uh, we got better at doing things. We got the, the pipeline down to a T, and we could generate data that we, you know, some batches here and there, uh, but they, they, they're mostly, you know, non-batched, and, and we, can, we, can, we can do the analysis in a clean fashion. Um, what the phase that we are at right now is the completion of the analysis. Uh, TCGA will end effectively sometime in the spring 2016. Uh, this is the last symposium that we have here at Nature. Next symposium is going to be a longer and larger affair. We are planning on a big bang to go with some fireworks. Uh, it's going to be a three, four day event, which we'll, we will present all the findings, one AWG, one analysis uh, working group at a time, and then the PANCAN analysis, and then we're gonna have a lot of people invited that are using the data that are not part of the team, so it's gonna be a big thing. Stay tuned for that one. We are negotiating with some, uh, some association, which will be remain nameless until they say yes. Uh, we're trying to make it a big joint um, meeting. It's going to happen in DC. Uh, it's still, you know, the federal government, they don't like us to travel that much. Uh, so it's still going to be here. So you are all going to be welcome to DC once again. Um, we'll announce it when we have more details, obviously. Uh, this is the tumor project progress. As you can see, the red bars are manuscripts submitted or published. Uh, we are past the midpoint here. Uh, all of the tumor types that were selected for analysis except for diffuse large B-cell lymphomas were uh, actually analyzed. We have the data and we have, as you see, all that sea of green there is all the um, analysis working groups that are active at the moment. And this is for primary analysis. We have some other analysis working groups that are for secondary papers, uh, things like the combination between LGG and GBMs, um, recurrent LGGs, uh, lobular breast ca uh, cancer, uh, which is uh, submitting a manuscript very, very soon. Um, so we, we have other things that are not represented here, but as you can see, we are nearing the end of our task. Uh, this is the data that we have available. We don't expect too much more data to come in. There's some um, samples that had needed some sequencing top off that, that will appear soon. But basically, we have gotten 12,550 cases uh, that were qualified. Uh, our goal was 10,000, so we did well there. Uh, a bunch of them were, were received at the end of December. Uh, in fact, one eight of them, uh, probably because we were closing the doors and people tried to you know, put a foot inside. Um, we have at the moment 10,849 with minimal clinical data set, meaning the, or the enrollment data. And we have 8,404 
with at least one year follow-up. And as you can see, the higher year numbers are filling up. Last time I gave this talk, we had two cases with four years. Now we have 19. People keep giving the clinical data and we will accept it. We will move all this data, both TCGA target CGCI to a new system called the NCI Genomics Data Commons, GDC for short. And uh, the GDC will keep accepting clinical data if you have it and you want to uh, submit it. Uh, obviously, the contracts are done for the tissue source sites that are sitting in the, in, in the audience. The contracts are done, so all the data that you provide will be for the good of humanity. No checks will be cut on that data. We are done with the payments. Uh, 155,000 plus samples of RNA and DNA protein were shipped to date. Um, and all but 9,429 samples have data returned, which means that we have 99.8% of all samples with data and 94% of the cases have at least some um, level one data publicly available. Um, the samples, these aliquots that don't have data are probably never going to have data. These are uh, aliquots that were destroyed, they were not good, they dried out, you know, things happen in transit. And so this is basically a fairly good track record if you look at it. Uh, almost 100% of cases, just 0.2% of cases did not get to be processed, which looking at the size of this project is short of a miracle. Um, so. I think, you know, the data generators did very well, the VCR did splendid, uh, no complaints here. So what uh, analysis working groups we have going, uh, you can read the list, I'm not going to read it for you. Some of them are, as I said, for example, LGG, GBM, they are secondary uh, efforts. Uh, we are going to have more of those secondary efforts. Obviously, the level of support that we can give to the secondary effort is a lot less than we give to the primary papers. Reason is we have 13 um, primaries that are still active. This is really the most active time in the analysis. And so we don't have much bandwidth left for, for anybody. But we'll, we'll support you as much as we can. Um, these are our recent publications, recent being year, year and a half. Um, some were recently accepted, skin and low-grade glioma, accepted to cell and, and New England Journal of Medicine. Uh, adenocortical is in the process of being reviewed in uh, Nature Genetics, and there are at least four others that are very close to be submitted. So our production, our, our manuscript production has come into gear two as the analysis has continued. And in fact, um, one of the things that we're seeing is that the rare tumor types, because they have all the data up front before the AWG starts working, uh, they're, they're moving extremely fast. Uh, that also happens because we have some very eager co-chairs that are, are pushing for this to be done on time and, and fast. But, you know, the, the fact to have all the data ahead of time helps a lot. It also helps that the number of tumors is smaller, so the data gets analyzed faster. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, there will be no TCGA 2.0. Those four letters are great for sequencing. They're not too good for programs anymore, okay? Programs should have a sunset. Uh, when we have sunsets in program, we have goals that can be achieved. We don't want to produce a program that is an entitlement, okay? So TCGA reached its goal, did all the things that we set up to do, and more. Uh, we can all put ourselves in the back. We will be done next year, and that's the end. That's not the end of uh, cancer genomics. Of course not, NCI is committed to it. And we have several um, different projects that are already launched or about to be launched. Uh, some of them have more of a discovery uh, phase to it, like CDDP, the Cancer Driver Discovery Project. Some of them have more of a clinical bias to them, like Alchemist, which is a lung uh, trial that we are basically characterizing about 7,000 cases that are coming through it. 
exceptional responders is something similar. Is um, as it says, there's people that responded exceptionally to drugs that were not, um, they were not approved by FDA and the trial was not successful, but still we want to see why these people actually had a good response and we do it through sequencing. And the CTSP, which is the Clinical Trial Sequencing Program, which is open right now for applications and it's a program uh, that is a joint program between the Center for Cancer Genomics and the um, Division for Cancer Treatment and uh, Diagnostic. Uh, basically, we'll take probably two clinical trials that are well done and have enough samples and the samples are of good shape and we'll sequence them up to figure out, you know, what the results were. The bias that we're going to have for all future cancer genomic programs is a bias towards explaining what happens at the clinic. TCGA was great as discovery. We were not so good at clinical. We were not meant to be so good at clinical. These projects are going to be focused on clinical sample sets that have good outcomes. So we can ask clinical questions that we were not able to ask in TCGA. Um, so if you want more about that, you can, you can see me at the breaks and, and we can discuss them. Um, CDDP is, is focused on lung, colon, and ovarian. We have identified lung and colon uh, cohorts. We can always use more ovarian cohorts. So if you have them, you have a, even a small trial, you know, 100, 150 cases. We'll take them if they have all the requirements. Um, don't come and tell me I have two patients because, you know, that's not good enough. We need, we need to have numbers and we need to have numbers that were collected consistently. The, the message basically is that cancer and genomics is here to stay, but in the context of helping figure out uh, how to better treat the patient, not just in the context of, oof, I, I have this other mutation. On the road of doing that, we are going to get to the, ooh, I have this other mutation that I had not identified before because we are going to have more cases, but that's not the focus of these programs. Okay, and with that, I invite Caroline to come up, and if you can get her first slide, I'll stay around because...